and creativity help pull people out of homelessness. A national nonprofit thinks so. When News Channel 5's Kristen Scovera takes us inside a studio on a mission. Even though I was homeless, I still worked every day. Matter of fact, the people didn't even know I was homeless at the job because I would come to work early and be ready to work, you know. But when I met the people at Poverty and Arts, I found out that my life was so much more than I thought it was. Gwendolyn Johnson is an artist. This is a princess. All my, sto all my paintings have a story. Part of Johnson's own story includes homelessness. She says at 50, her life was forever changed when she connected with Nashville's poverty and the arts. I'm just excited about all the different things that I've learned how to do. Nicole Minyard is the founder of the nonprofit. Art kind of breaks down those class lines and allows us to become equal, particularly with different populations that we're not used to um, being in community with. This way, featured artists can sell their work, helping them get back on their feet. Now the walls are covered in artwork and the quarters are cramped. With 12 active artists, Minyard says they need more room and are launching a campaign called Hope Has a New Home to expand and help people discover the artist within. Whenever I paint or draw, that's me inside. You know, that's, that's who I am. In Nashville, Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5. How cool is that? For more information on their campaign and to see the artist's work, visit our website and we'll link you.